Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anita Stories. In this video I'm going to show you how to make slime with toothpaste without glue and without borax. I'm going to test two of your recipes and then I'm going to show you some of my recipes on how to make slime without glue with toothpaste. So for the first recipe, thank you very much Evelina Aksoy for this amazing recipe. So I'm going to put two different types of toothpaste in my bowl and then you can start mixing them. Then I'm adding a little bit more of toothpaste because it wasn't enough. Then I'm adding some baby oil as the recipe. And some salt. Then you can use some shower gel or face wash and then you need to put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and in the freezer for around 15 minutes. So uh, this is after I removed it from the microwave, from the freezer, all the ingredients got together. You can see the tooth, the blue toothpaste and the white toothpaste. I was really surprised, it was still a little bit sticky, but if you continue mixing it with your hands, it will feel totally like a slime. I really love this slime, so thank you very much for giving out this recipe. So for the second recipe we have Jennifer Camarillo that is suggesting shampoo and toothpaste and thank you so much for saying that you love my videos Jennifer and thank you for your recipe. So I'm doing a little bit of a vari variation because I don't have enough shampoo. So I'm using dish soap and toothpaste that I'm adding a little bit of salt. As you can see it looks like it's coming together the slime already. I'm adding the shampoo now, you can use any shower gel or face wash. And then I'm adding a little bit of shower gel as well, so that it, the slime will be bigger. I'm still adding a little bit of salt. Then after mixing it for a while you can add some baby oil as well, this will prevent the slime to be very sticky. And then you can put it in the freezer for around 15 to 20 minutes. And this is after I removed it from the freezer. I still added a little bit of salt, if you see that it's still sticky, just add a little bit of salt. And this is the final result. Thank you very much, Jennifer. It looks like a jiggly slime. It's very nice. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for this recipe. Toothpaste 
and how to make slime with hand wash or hand soap. <laughs> if you're from US, it's hand soap, I guess. Here in Ireland and in UK, it's hand wash. So these slimes are without glue and without borax, tide, um, what else? Contact lens solution or slime activator. So I really hope you like them. I've added a little bit of toothpaste. You can add as much as you want if you want the slime to be bigger or smaller. And then I'm adding just a pinch of salt. You don't need to add too much, just a little bit. I'm adding a little bit of food colorant. Um, it's not necessary, but if you want it to have a different color than the toothpaste, you can add a little bit of food colorant. And then I'm adding some corn flour, which is the same as corn starch, but you can also try with normal flour. So you will need to model the slime with your hands. At the beginning it will be a little bit sticky, but don't worry, you just need to wait a little bit. It's also really cheap to make. It's really easy, but you need to follow my instructions really carefully, otherwise it won't work. So for the first slime, I'm using some toothpaste. It's very important that you use a gel toothpaste. If you use a paste <laughs> toothpaste, it won't work. So make sure you're using a gel toothpaste. So the second ingredient that I'm using is the head and shoulders shampoo. So it's not necessary to use the head and shoulder shampoo, but you need to use a shampoo that is really, really thick and consistent. Otherwise it won't work. So I'm just starting up with equal parts of toothpaste and shampoo. And you can start mixing them. You will need to mix them for a while and you can add shampoo. If you see that it's too liquidy, you can add shampoo, but just add a small amount at a time. So just add a small amount, then mix it. Then if it's still very liquidy, you can still add a little bit of shampoo. It's very important that you add the shampoo in small amounts and then you mix it, otherwise it won't work. Continue mixing it until you feel that it's becoming kind of solid. So I'm adding a little bit more of shampoo because it was it was still very liquidy. Please add me on Instagram and on Facebook as Anita Stories. I publish slime videos on Instagram and Facebook as well, so if you want you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So this ingredient is optional, but if you want to speed up the process, use it. And it's to add a little bit of salt. You need to be really careful because you don't need to add too much salt, otherwise it will become very liquidy and it won't work. So just add a little, little bit of salt. And as you can see, it's starting getting solid. So what you need to do is you need to put it on the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes. I put mine on the freezer and in the meantime I'm going to show you the second slime. So I'm using some shampoo and it is a gel shampoo, so you absolutely need a gel shampoo, otherwise it won't work. And then I'm using the head and shoulders again, so you need to use again a very thick shampoo. And then I'm just mixing them. Please leave a like to this video if you're liking it so far. I would really appreciate it. And also if you can leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. And then 
as the first slimy you can add a little bit of shampoo of the thick one if you see this too liquidy but just a little and just be patient and continue mixing it So I'm adding the salt now, as I said before, just a tiny little bit of salt and after that you add salt it will speed up the process. So as you can see it's getting solid already. And it's starting to create this slime. But you will need to put this one as well in the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes. Now I'm doing the third one with the head and shoulders, so a shampoo with a thick consistency and I'm using a shower gel, so it's very important that the shower gel is a gel, of course, so it needs to be a gel and a thick shampoo. And I have to say that this is the quickest one because it becomes solid very quickly. As you can see, it's, it's already starting to create the slime. Adding a little bit of salt, be very careful with the salt. And then just keep mixing. Remember to leave a like if you like this video so far. And as you can see, the slime is starting to come out. It's not sticky, but you still need to put this in the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes. So I added a little bit more of shower gel because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Not as much as you want. It's important that the shower gel is more than the shampoo. And if you're trying it for the first time, I would suggest you to start with a small amount. And then once you understand and see how to do it, you can then do a giant one. So as you can see, the slime is almost already created. It's not sticky anymore. So I put that on the in the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes and now I shampoo slime, so the one where I, where I use the head and shoulder and the gel shampoo. As you can see it's not sticky anymore. If you see that it's still sticky, just leave it on in the freezer for another 5 minutes. But you will also have to play with it a little bit with your hands in order to make it not sticky anymore. And as you can see it's really amazing and it's so fun to play with. So this one is the one where I used the toothpaste. So I'm going to show you now how it came out. You can remove it really easily with a spoon. So as you can see it's not sticky and it's super fun to play with. But my absolutely favorite one was the one with the shower gel and the head and shoulder. I absolutely love this. I'm going to show you now how it came out. I think the shower gel and head and shoulder option is the best one, but maybe it's also because I made it a little bit bigger, so it's even more fun to play with. So as you can see, it really looks like a glue slime and it's super nice and super fun to play with. 
and if you follow my instructions carefully it will work 100% so you can make your own slime without any glue without any borax without any detergent just with two ingredients so I really hope you like this video please let me know in the comments what do you think and subscribe to my channel and see you next time